Welcome to this tutorial of Autoclass Composite. I'll show you how to fill a composite using this application. First, you have to open one of the comp uh, composite templates included with the demo. This is the sample composite and you will find it at the Documents Autoclass Composite Sample folder. This is a full layered PSD document with layers for teachers and for students. First, we'll select the layer for the teacher. Now you have to open Autoclass Composite. You will find it at the uh, Windows menu or if you are using a Mac at the Applications Autoclass Composite folder. First, please make sure that at Settings you have selected the correct Photoshop version and your language, of course. Now we will select CS5 as this is the version of Photoshop we will use for the demo, for the tutorial. Once you have selected the first uh, shape, the teacher shape, in Autoclass Composite select the Pictures folder with the pictures for teachers. In the sample, these are in Documents, Autoclass Composite, Sample, Teachers. You can see there is only one picture in this folder. Now please select included text at the bottom of the pictures to put the name of the teacher at the bottom of the picture and center pictures and shape layers. If you don't select center, the pictures will be positioned at the top left corner of the shape layer. Finally, click at Fill Composite and Autoclass Composite will command Photoshop to fill the composite. Here you can see the document in Photoshop has now the picture of the teacher and below you will find the teacher's name, in this case also the, the director text. All texts are put above of the shapes of the layers in Photoshop. These are the first layers always because this way you may select all layers at the same time. We'll say it, see this later. Now please select the first of the shapes for the students and in Autoclass Composite select the Pictures folder for the students. Also at Documents, Autoclass Composite, Sample, Students. Then click directly at Fill Composite. The student pictures will be re resized and place it in the shape layers for these students. You can see now all students and their names are in the shape layers. If you select the first text layers in the shape layers list, in the layers list, you can easily select a different font, a different size for this for the text, or even a different color. This can be in Photoshop for all selected layers. Now let's create a new document from scratch. Okay, I will create a new document. Just 20 by 10 inches. And I will create a unique shape layer. Shape layers are created with the rectangle tool. You don't have to confuse it with the selection tool. This is the selection tool and this is the rectangle tool at bottom. Rectangle tool has options for creating rectangle tools, rounded rectangle, ellipsal, polygon and even custom shape tools. If you select a custom shape, you may select one of the shapes, for example from shapes, I may select this one just as a sample and now just draw the shape in the document. This is our first shape layer. You may add a drop shadow A small stroke at the border, 
Okay, this is our first shape layer. Now we will duplicate this shape layer using Autoclass Composite. Select the Just Template and input the number of rows. In this case, we'll have two rows and the columns or photos per row. Let's say four photos. This will make a total of four of eight uh, shape layers. By clicking at Generate Shape Layers, Autoclass Composite will come on Photoshop to create these eight layers in two rows and four columns. Once down, you can see, you may select these layers and move them in the document or resize them at your convenience. Okay, once you have you created the shape layers, select the first one. This is the layer where you will start to fill the composite. If you select this one, it will start here to fill the composite. But let's select the first one in the document. And now, using just the same student folder with these four pictures, I will fill this composite. I only click at Fill Composite, and Photoshop will take the pictures and place them in the respective places and putting the name below. You only have to wait until it is filled. Okay. As you can see here, we now have a new composite filled with these four pictures. I will just change the font size. Okay. You can see here. Of course, you may even move the text or the layers to any place. If you want to have a different uh, composite, for example, making curves, you may move the shape layers to create a rounded effect. Anything can be done in Photoshop because these are true Photoshop layers, shape layers. These are vectorial shape layers. There is also an extended tutorial about abstract forms in our website at the support section.